Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd from, for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers live. They shall live and eat forever. They and their children and their children's children with my servant David, their prince forever. 
I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy. When my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessing. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance. And young men and old as well, I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and God gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the other chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin, and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing. Nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one, the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem 
before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, what do you think? That he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> Caiaphas said, It is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. In so many words, Caiaphas was saying, Better him than us. Better him than us. We would rather have Jesus crucified than us getting destroyed. And uh, my dear brothers and sisters, if you come to think of it, that mentality has not changed for some of us. Bakit ako? Bakit ako palalamang? Bakit ako magpaparaya? Well, siya na lang. No? Kaya hindi masyadong nagbago ang takbo ng mundo sapagkat hindi nagbago ang pag-iisip. Pero mga ginigili kong kapatid, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is telling us also something else. Better me than you. Better me than you. Jesus was willing to sacrifice himself to die on the cross so that people will be saved. That is selfless love. Caiaphas has a selfish love. His love for oneself. Ililigtas ko muna ang sarili ko bago ko kayo isipin. Pero si Jesus, ililigtas ko muna kayo bago ko isipin ang sarili ko. You see the difference? We profess love for one another. You profess love to your husbands and wives. Parents love their children. But what kind of love? I hope it is the kind of love Jesus demonstrated. Selfless love. Uunahin ang kapwa kaysa sa sarili. Ililigtas ang iba kaysa sa sarili. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God our Father that we may have the courage of Christ to face life and its difficulties, even death, for the sake of life and growth for ourselves and for others. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the non-Christians may come to know Jesus who died for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that separated Christians may show greater commitment to ecumenism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer that those in authority may commit themselves to the service of truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all Catholics may have a special sense of belonging to each other through their common faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That mothers who lose their child may not be crushed by the weight of their problems. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Let us also pray for our own particular needs. God, our Father, who by drawing the faithful together has made them one body of Christ, send your Holy Spirit to draw your people into closer bond with each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. <clears throat> it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, let us pray to our common Father in the words given to us by the Son. Our Father, <laughs> Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, <clears throat> the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.